Hi everyone. Today I'm out on my deck because it's a nice day, but also today's steamy experiment. Skin might be a little bit messy, so I thought it might be better to be outside. The wind is blowing today, so you'll be able to hear my wind chime kind of clunking in the background. But today, again, we're going to find some things around the house and have some fun with a chemical reaction. So I have white vinegar, just plain old white vinegar, and baking soda. And we're going to use those two ingredients to create a simple chemical reaction. And I've gathered up a whole bunch of different size containers, different shapes. I have tiny little medicine cups. I have a little dish. I have a little tiny water bottle. I have a bigger bottle that has a curved and then a narrow neck. And then for the end, I have just an ordinary water bottle. So I thought it might be interesting just to watch what happens when you put them together. So I have the three little cups here. And this one has a little bit of baking soda. This one's sort of a medium amount. And this one has more baking soda. And I put a little blue food coloring in there too. So let's watch what happens when we add a little bit of vinegar to baking soda. What do you think is going to happen? You know, baking soda is a base and vinegar is an acid. So let's see what happens when we add an acid to a base. Can you see the bubbles? Look at that. Let me bring it a little closer. More vinegar, more bubbles. More baking soda and vinegar, even more bubbles. Let's see what happens with the blue food coloring. Blue bubbles. I like that. And they keep going. And look, these have stopped. I wonder if I add some more vinegar, if they'll go again. They will. So the bubbles are made by the by carbon dioxide. When the base and the acid come together, the baking soda and the vinegar, they rearrange themselves and they make carbon dioxide. So what they're really doing is creating a gas that's blowing bubbles. Really cool. So now I have this bottle, which you see these are wide open. This one has a narrow opening at the top. Do you think that that will make a difference? Let's use some of our blue. I'll add a little bit more. Let's use some of our blue so we can see what happens when we add vinegar to this. Is it going to come out? We need more vinegar to get it to come out of the bottle. There it goes. Look at how fast. Can you see the bubbles at the top, how big they are? Now, here's an experiment to try. I have some dish soap. I wonder if that changes anything. Let's try adding a little dish soap and then adding some more vinegar. And let's see if the dish soap, what do you think will happen if we add dish soap? Since we're blowing bubbles with carbon dioxide, what do you think will happen? Are we getting more bubbles? I wonder if we need a little more baking soda. Let's take a spoon. <gasps> Look at it. It's coming right out the top. And it's just going, going, going. Wow. Do you think it'll keep going for a long time? Look at that. And I don't know if you can see, I'm going to bring the camera a little bit closer and I'm going to pick up the bottle. You can see the bubbles moving inside the bottle. 
spilling them out over the top. Reminds me of one of those mad scientist experiments in the movies where the bubble, the beakers are bubbling over the top all the time. Maybe that's how they did it. That is really cool. We'll just have to see how long that keeps going. Well, I have another big bottle here. Should we add some soap to this one too? Let's try it. This one's really big and it has a very narrow neck. So I wonder how this one will do. How much more we'll have to add to get it to work. This one's green. Let's see if we can get it going. Can we get it going? Let's mix it around a little. Wow. Here it comes. Look it. Right out the top. Whoa. So cool. And I'm going to bring it closer so you can see all the bubbles inside. Wow. And look, our little bottle is still going. Doesn't show any signs of stopping. And now we've got a really big bottle going. Well, I have one more fun thing I haven't tried myself, but someone told me one time that they thought they could blow up a balloon. Now, I don't have any balloons around the house, but I have some gloves. Maybe you guys have some gloves at home. So I put some vinegar in my bottle. I'm going to move the green bottle out of the way. Just like that. I put some vinegar in the bottom of my bottle and in my balloon or my glove I'm going to put some baking soda so I have a spoonful of baking soda and then I'm going to put this over the top of the bottle but I'm going to be really careful See, the baking soda is still in the glove. It is not going into the bottle. Not yet, anyway. And I'm going to use a rubber band to hold the glove onto the top of the bottle. I think that's a good idea because we don't want it to fall off and we don't want any air. So now we have... <coughs> vinegar in our bottle and we have baking soda in our glove. If I lift up this glove and I shake it, what's going to happen to that baking soda? Well, we're hoping it's going to fall down into the bottle. Let's see if we can get it to do that. Let's see if we can get it to do that. Right? Into the bottle it goes. And look, if I hold that glove on tight, look what's happening. Look at what's happening. It's blowing up the glove like a balloon. If I add some more, do you think we can make it bigger? Make it stand up? Let's see, there's some more baking soda in here. Look at that. Wow. Let's try a little more vinegar because the last time we added some more vinegar, we got the reaction to reactivate, right? So let's put some more vinegar in there and put our glove back on top and see if we can get it to blow up again. I've got another finger full of baking soda. Let's try it. There it goes. Yay! <laughs> Look at that! So the carbon dioxide gas is acting just like we do when we blow up a balloon and it's blowing up the glove. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun! Well, just ordinary things around your house. Oh, it looks like this bottle is slowing down a little bit. It looks like this bottle is slowed down a little bit. Hmm, maybe we should reactivate them just to say goodbye. So we reactivate them. How about our blue one from before? 
So, have some fun, grab a grown-up, head outside, and have some fun with bottles, vinegar, baking soda, maybe a little dish soap. A simple reaction creating a gas that could even blow up a glove. Bye for now.